Hello everyone and welcome back. The lovely Miss Michelle joins us for this one. Hello everyone. We're looking at new anomalies at a new site in Arcus Terra at a site north of a depression called Pi. Let's have a look at the original source material then I'll show you the anomalies. The high-rise team calls this photograph terrain sample. It was acquired on the 21st of December 2020 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at a low res black and white photograph of this terrain. And the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white dots, that litter, it's very strange dune field. Right, so the site's up here to the north of Pi and it's to the west of the site I featured in the last video. So let's have a look at the anomalies. So right there folks, we're looking at the first rectangular item. You can use the scale indicator I've included for an approximate size of the anomaly, so it's 20 10 so that item over there is about 8 by 6 meters in size look at the strange geometry of this piece it looks like this triangular part on the left broke off so what the heck are we looking at here it looks almost like a weird craft doesn't it and then it's got the spherical or dome-like part on the top. Rather odd. It looks like an object that wedged itself into the surface. Right, let's have a look at the item of here. In the center of this image. And this is rather odd. It's got this well-defined rectangular part. And then this avia protruding off the right hand side. And we've seen something very similar to this at a site in Halley. Check this out. It's also got this strange rectangular base and an oval shaped part in the center. This is from our video, Redux Structures and Reds near Halley on Mars. Right, let's have a look at the item over there. And we've seen one similar to this. I'll show you that in a moment. So this is about 10 meters in diameter. Just nice rounded shape. Slightly convex with two dark spots in its center and there's another one like it this is from our video anomalies north of Jonas Regio on Mars so what's the chance of this happening in nature folks two items are the same size the two dark spots in the centers and uh, almost equally spaced Apart. You know, if you see one item here and there, sure, but if you see two that are almost identical, then you've got to start asking questions. Are we looking at possible life forms, intelligent design, or just one hell of a process that produces these naturally? Who knows? We'll have a look at lots more of these anomalies where I've found two or three or more that look the same or similar. Check these out. So we've got two very weird items here next to one another. We've got the conical feature of here. We've got this hollowed out rounded part to the left and a small item inside. This also looks rather odd. Looks like it's been bent in. And then this item of here, rounded part, it's got a little bevel on it. 
with something inside that slopes down into what looks like depression inside. Now we're looking at a similar item to the left. Check this out. This is from Special Edition. Larger photograph reveals extensive anomalies in Proctor. We've got that rounded part slightly hollowed out and a small part inside. Right, let's have a look at the item over here to the bottom right. And we've seen many of these strange shapes on Mars as well. And there's one like it. This is from another set of strange objects spotted in Proctor on Mars. It's got this thin outer part and the smaller insert with a hole on the top. And there's more like it. This is just one example. We are showing you similarities in possible design and manufacture. Who knows, folks? What are the chances of nature actually producing similar items like this? And this is in Proctor, which is very far from this site, north of Pi. Right, then we're looking at the item of here in the center, about 10 meters across. It's also got this rounded outer part and then something rather odd going on on the inside look at the right angles to those parts and there's a similar rounded item hollowed out and then uh, we've got the parts there on the inside this is from another set of strange objects spotted in Proctor on Mars. Right, let's have a look at the item of here to the right. I'd say that piece is about 6 meters across. Also got the rounded outer part. And then the smaller object on the inside. Okay, let's have a look at the item of here. It looks almost like a marshmallow. Let's call it a marshmallow. What do Martians eat? Likely marshmallows. Anyway, folks, what on earth is going on here? We've got the sort of square bottom part. And then the spherical part on the top. It looks almost mushy. Very strange. Right, let's have a look at the item of here. We've seen similar patterns to this at other sites on Mars. A small rounded part in the center and then the strange wedge shaped part on the side. There's something similar to it. Check out the wedge. Smaller rounded part next to it. And there's similar examples. There the two are for comparison. This one and this one of here looks very strangely the same or similar. This is from Redux Structures and Rains near Halley on Mars. Right, let's have a look at the, it looks almost like a snail over there to the top. This is about seven to eight meters across. It's got the rounded dome-like part and this piece that spirals off the side and you have similar examples of those 
This is from Special Edition. A larger photograph reveals extensive anomalies in Procter. So the rounded part spirals off on the side. You've got a nice spiral as well. Anomalies at southern edge of Procter Dune Field. And then another one of these strange rounded parts with the smaller part spiraling off the side. More incredible anomalies in Procter on Mars. Right, let's have a look at the item of here to the left. And it's got a neat hole on it as well. I'd say that hole is about three meters in diameter and we've seen so many other objects with holes in them as well. Here's another example redux structures and ruins near Halley on Mars and there's many more I could have shown you here folks but check that nicely defined hole in this item. Got a neat edge to it as well. Okay, let's have a look at the blocks over here to the left. That one there I would say is about 10 meters long. And it's got the customary protrusion or knob on it as well. Very similar to the blocks that we find at sites down in South America. Right, let's have a look at the cube of yet to the left. I'd say this is about five by four meters in size. And it's got this slightly rounded curvature to it. Okay, this is also rather odd. That entire piece, I would say, is about 15 meters in length. It's got this semi dome shaped part to the left, and this looks very similar to the one item at the beginning of the video. We'll have a look at that now as well. So, with the part in the middle that's slightly sticking out, it looks very similar to this part without the semi dome like part there to the left. Okay, let's have a look at the part of here. I'd say that entire piece is about. 18 to 19 meters in length and it's got a very odd shape to it long narrow rectangular part at the bottom and then two very distinct smaller narrow parts on the top following that line and there are similar items that I'll show you in a moment let's have a look at this one about 12 meters in length also thin narrow rectangular part on top of this whatever's going on here yeah, folks check it then this is from redux anomalies in Procter long narrow rectangular part with two distinct parts next to one another in a line and this part also I thought I'd throw in here it's also a long rectangular part with the two items on the top in a line that there could be a crack in this case we've definitely got two distinct items over here as well strange how they are slanted roughly the same angle 
Okay, let's have a look at the item of here to the left. And that there is about 10 meters in length. These two parallel parts, two layers possibly, of here, a rectangular recessed area. Could that there be a type of a vent or an entrance way we've seen? Similar parts to this on Mars. This is just one example I thought I'd throw in here. Special edition, larger photograph reveals extensive anomalies in Proctorot Mars. So two layers and what looks like an opening. Very, very odd. Right, let's have a look at this. The part of you to the right sticks out like a sore finger. Check the recessed, darker part there on the inside. It reminds me of those. This one I found near Chamberlain. And that one in Proctor. Okay, let's have a look at the weird item over here, about 12 meters long. Looks almost like a robot head. <laughs> Check there, the visor and the part on the side of the head. What could this be? I mean, Check how odd that is. This part on the side, very symmetrical. And then over here to the right, it seems to be open with that part on the inside that's got like a convex shape to it. Okay, let's have a look at the part of here in the middle. Nice opening, but like an oval shape, very symmetrical. And then the oval part on the inside. Nice shape. Not like a typical rock or boulder, I'd say. Right, this piece, I don't know what to make of this, looks like a giant beak, it's about 10 meters in length, but the uniformity in the spacing between the top and bottom parts, looks like a slot that's been cut into this item, has it got a point on the bottom part and then rounded on the top part. Nothing else like it at this site. Alright, let's have a look at the oddities of here. Rectangular part to the left. Slot or gap. Look at the right angles and the parallel edges here looks highly irregular and then this part that extends over this larger piece seems to be part of the one on the left and then this extends underneath possibly comes out here to the left and then this pile of rubble The rectangular parts on the inside parallel with each other. I don't know what that is. Right, let's have a look at the parts of here to the left. Again, this looks highly irregular. It's almost as if that there 
is hollowed out as well. The item of here is also odd. It's got the smaller rectangular part on top right there in the center, parallel with the side. And that small piece I would say is about five meters across. Check. We're looking at a possible opening of here as well. check this out the way the two parts sort of cross each other on the right hand side yeah so now the air is over the bottom one it's like folded arms very very strange it's a very dark material as well. It's almost spongy. Alright, let's check out this oddity over there. Look at this. I have no idea how to explain this part. Looks like piping. Not sure. Some type of carving or sculpture, check out the part there, looks almost like an elbow joint attached to that tube, got no clue what's going on here folks, but it looks rather artificial as well, okay, let's have a look at the item to the top right layers to it Got one two three four and then the rounded outside there and then this looks like it's slightly recessed as well these smaller parts on the outside this is odd this rounded part a lot of the anomalies in this area in the have got this sort of outline almost like a little container and yes something just as odd that's at a site. Diverse anomalies discovered in Procter on Mars. So, very odd shapes. Multiple layers. What could these things be? The right angles. Looks like sheet metal. Right, and then the oddities with smaller parts in their centers. Check this one out. This one's about 12 meters across. Looks like a recessed cleared out area around this item and then the slab or block which is about 12 meters long small hole on the top something sticking out of that hole on the inside there item to the right Nice spherical object on top of this one. And that I'd say is about three meters in diameter. We're looking at the 
cube over there also the smaller part in the center right there on top within walking distance to the left the item over there also has the small part on the top look at the edge over here almost like a pipe as well going in over there to the bottom right okay the oddity there this is about six by six and the smaller item in its center up to the north again the smaller part in the center this one's nicely arranged parallel with the edge right, we're looking at the object over there about 8 by 8 meters in size small part in its center and then this is also rather strange it's like a little roof okay strange item going on here folks oval shape a small spherical or dome shaped object in that center there as well okay let's shoot off to Nohaka's Terra to that site north of Pi there we go Pi over here and then the site up here to the north I'd say this is about 300 kilometers to the north I featured these anomalies in my last video and these are the ones we just checked out there's so many strange diverse anomalies on Mars yet there are similarities some patterns that we see repeated over and over and over again nothing is identical but there are traits trends definite trends that we can make out just like you'd find here on earth like a different type of architecture uh, sculptures monuments but always there's a type of a building style and a method it's always common to most things here on earth and that you can see here on Mars as well these things look very creative very artistic and with that said we've reached the end of this feature I hope you enjoyed it Michelle and I will see you in the next one pretty soon. Take care. Until then, bye-bye for now.